Hello and welcome. It's Mitzi Wyman here and I hope this message finds you really well and in good spirits. It's a fact that many people hate attending meetings. Indeed, my research shows that people feel that up to 60% of the time they spend in meetings is wasted and there are so many reasons for this. To begin with, these days there's that sense of urgency and rush that seems to dominate working life. People are rushing from one meeting to the next, particularly in the virtual environment, and they often tell me they feel they don't have time to draw breath, let alone really have the time and space to think about the core and critical questions they need to be focusing on. Team leaders tell me that agenda is too long, and very often in a meeting, one or two people will dominate, and that means that others feel excluded. They feel they don't have a voice, won't be listened to, and so go away feeling demotivated and demoralized. All of this leads to a breakdown in communication, reduced productivity and performance, which ultimately has a negative impact on client care and the bottom line. I've been a specialist in leadership development over 20 years, working with companies all over the world, including Skanska, Sony Pictures, HarperCollins and the like, as well as public sector entities, such as the UK's National Health Service and the Cabinet Office. My clients typically bring me in to teach the time to think, thinking environment approach, which really helps to enhance the quality of thinking in their organisations, and in particular, their meetings culture. The results we've been able to achieve are truly transformational. And you can make your organisation a thinking environment too. By doing so, you'll find that you and your teams have the time and space to really think about issues in depth, free from the sense of urgency and rush and distractions that typically dominate other meetings. You'll experience a sense of ease, which means your meetings become more trusting environments where people can say what they really think and where others actually listen. The end result is inclusive, enlightening and emboldening spaces which ignite the quality of thinking and performance in your organisations, creating a culture where all can thrive. In the next video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a thinking environment and sharing with you some techniques that you can use straight away to enhance the quality of thinking in your organisations. All you need to do is enter your details below, click the button and I'll see you in the next video.